because we are black, we are refugees, and we are actually, if we think about it, we, we don't have a home right now. I mean, Israel has become our home, but sometimes it felt like we will never be able to consider as 100% Israeli as those who their grand-grandparents fight for this country. I think the only thing that connected me to Israel is like, I still love it. I, I love this place, I love the people here. I feel like I've built like a relationship with people that helped me to be, to, to understand things that I understand today and to think the way I think today and, and to be who I am today. Call me Gloria, I'm 19. נולדתי בקונגו והגעתי עם כל המשפחה שלי שהייתי בת שש לישראל ומאז אני חיה בישראל. סיימתי ללמוד, ב... סיימתי תיכון בישראל לפני שנתיים ועכשיו אני מכינה את עצמי ללימודים, לא ללימודי אוניברסיטה. I've moved from Congo with all my family to Israel because of the security situation. The war didn't allow my parents to stay there, to stay there because we were under we were persecuted, so my parents decided the best thing to do is we should move from the Congo to another place. Uh, to choose Israel because of the strong belief in God. And living in Israel was not, um, it, it was hard, it wasn't easy. First of all, because the majority of people are white, and so it, it was quite, I mean, weird at first. I was really young, and I guess when you were a kid, you're always looking for happiness and you don't care whether the majority of the people around you are not black. When you face racism, it's always like you feel bad because of the way you look, because of the color of your, color of your skin. I do think appearance is important, and when you meet someone, you don't meet directly his like interior or his personality. The first thing you look at is the way he looks like. And once you have like met the person, Oh, what really matters more than appearance is the character of the person. But appearance, it's, it's important, yes. I feel comfortable inside me when I have something to wear. I say thanks to God for it. And that's enough, because I love to be natural, and that's it. I think it was in a really young age when my mom used to give me dress to wear and I didn't, I didn't feel like, I, I'm not sure if it was my appearance, but I, I kind of, I prefer to be comfortable rather than being good looking and have nice clothes. So I used to take my brother jeans and uh, t-shirt and that, that, that's what felt comfortable for me more rather than wear a dress. And I think that's the specific moment that I became aware of my looking. I might get to like 50 years old and then I'll understand that I need, maybe I need a Botox in order to feel more comfortable with myself. It, it won't be about the person next to me or make him happy or the way I look, but it will be about myself. I'm not sure that I will ever touch it, but who knows. But right now I feel comfortable about everything that I have. I can say beautiful, it's like, because it's, it's, it's almost like saying I'm perfect. And I don't think there is perfection in the world we live right now. There is no perfection. So I'm not, I'm saying my, my, my beauty is the fact that I wake up every morning and I feel good with myself and that's it. I think my favorite feature is like I smile all the time no matter what. Like someone can cry next to me and gonna smile. I think, I, and I, I think it's, when you smile to someone and your smile is kind of, it's come from a really honest place because you want to smile and I think it's make other people to be more like to try to understand why this girl smiles all the time. That's something that I have and I'm thankful for it that I, I'm able to laugh all, laugh all the time and to smile all the time. I'm always worried that everyone around me is really happy and if not happy, satisfy or okay or fine. It's like, at least you're fine, you're not bad, you're fine, it's okay for me as well. And I think that's, it's a, I mean, that's something I'm really proud of. Uh, like, I always take care of my family, my friends, and all the people I know. There are a lot of people who wake up every morning to go to work to make money. That 
they don't really use and they don't really have time to use it and to be joyful from it because they go back to work every day. I think the beauty of life is the fact that we, we were born to this world free and we can make our own choices. My advice to everyone, especially women, is to be free. At the same time that you fight in order to improve your life, try to be as free as possible because life and it's, it's a cliche it isn't about how much you make, it's about how happy you are every day. When I think about how I came to accept myself, my appearance in general and my color and my body and my beauty, it's more like you need to hear a bit more about my story because I had uh, eating disorders for nine years. I've been uh, anorectic and then I've been bulimic.